So in this video, I'm going to be re-gluing a round table that had failed glue joints. Um, and a lot of the seams and the, the glue joints had come apart. So we're going to re-glue this table before refinishing it. So my first step here that I'm doing um, is I've, I've taken these boards apart and I'm now just scraping off any old glue residue using a card scraper. Um, I want to get any of the old glue residue off. I'm really fortunate in this job in that the boards came across apart really easily and they're nice and straight and flat so I don't have to run it across a joiner. I have a really nice tight fit. Um, I just need to get off uh, any of the old glue residue. So I'm using tight bond um, premium wood glue and I'm going to just spread it out and cover the whole surface um, with the wood glue. You can use a, a, a brush. I'm just using a little spreader that I happen to have sitting there. Um, a brush works really nice as well. And if you're so inclined you can just use your finger. <laughs> you know, you just want to get a nice uh, good coverage on your surface area and make sure it's uh, you know covered well with glue. So now I'm just fitting the table together and I'm going to use wax paper and I'm going to use wax paper um, on my surface here so that my clamps don't stick to the wood. I want them to stick, if anything, to the wax paper. So jobs like this pose a unique challenge because this table, it's a kitchen table, uh, it's round. So clamping up a round table isn't the easiest challenge for a do-it-yourselfer or a uh, you know a small shop that uh, doesn't have a whole lot of fancy equipment, right? We're not a cabinet making shop or a cabinet refinishing shop, so you have to come up with some techniques, um, a little out of the box thinking on on clamp jobs like this. So what I did here is I pre-drilled some holes and I'm applying a block on the underside of the table and this will give me a clamp surface. So I'm now going to use my clamp and I'll clamp up on the center of the table. Um, so this table originally had it has slides in the middle so it, it separates into two pieces. Those slides are off currently so that I can work on this table. So I'm using this block that I screwed on as a, as a point in order to be able to clamp onto. Now I'll just repeat the same process on the other side. And you'll see what I'm doing with the, the wood clamp with the wax paper. That's just keeping my two surfaces even and flat. Um, and I'm using the bar clamp to pull my glue joint together. So now as I clamp this tight, you're going to see glue that squeezes out. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. But unfortunately, there's something else that you have to watch out for. And that is when you uh, clamp up a top surface like this and you clamp it up tight, you sort of pull it towards your center. And what that does is it kind of warps the top. That's something that you have to watch out for and that we're going to have to fix and address right here. I already know that that's going to happen, so I've already planned in that. Um, but you see right there where I'm pointing? You can see the, the, the gap. So my table right now is not flat. So I want to clamp my table again down to my work surface so that my table is flat. So when it glues up and it's, and it's cured, it's going to be flat. What I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to clamp all four corners. So I purposely put my table on sawhorses so I have access to all four corners. And all I'm doing is using a board underneath the sawhorse and a clamp and I'm clamping down each corner one corner at a time. Um, I'm going to do the opposite corners and I'll just suck that down and that'll clamp it tight to my work surface so that I know I have a flat table when I'm done. So now how, how I've done this is I'm working in opposite corners. So I started on, my, on the lower left and then the upper right 
and now I'm on the lower right and I'll finish up on the upper left. Any sequence you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, just opposite corners. Um, anytime a flat surface like this, you're clamping it up and you use bar clamps, you're gonna suck that the ends up, upwards. So you wanna then clamp it down to the wood surface like I'm doing here. And this will ensure that when you are done, and your glue project dries up, you have a perfectly flat surface. And that's how we went ahead and clamped up a round table. Um, hope you found this video interesting. So that's the project when it's done. Now, the next thing we did was we went ahead and filled any seams with wood filler and did a really aggressive sanding because this was in here to be refinished. So we put a level on it, table came out perfectly flat, sanded it, um, we'll go ahead, I'm gonna stain it, finish it, and sent it back to the client and she absolutely loved it. The table looked better than she had ever seen it in the time that she'd had the table. Um, and it came out just like brand new. So hope you enjoyed this, hope you learned something. Um, if you like this video, you know, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to our channel if you have not already. We really appreciate it. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.